Hi guys! So, news flash, I've been diagnosed with gestational diabetes and I can't lie, I'm a bit emotional about it. I did my glucose test at the start of last week and I've been on a special diet plan and taking my blood uh, tests each day. I guess it's just been a kind of hard just to navigate like a change in my diet really being quite strict with the amount of carbohydrates i mean i love bread and i love the german bread so that's just being totally kicked out the window and that makes me a bit sad <laughs> i'm okay though i'm getting there i don't know what it is today yeah just today has just been a little bit of a hiccup like i just talking it through with the doctor so all women go through this gestational diabetes screening, the glucose test around this time in their second trimester. I'm 25 weeks. I went to just my Frau Arts to do the test and the results came back a little bit high. So then I was sent off to another doctor and I did a longer test. Yeah, the results still came back a bit high, which means now that I've got gestational diabetes, so the reason why this happens is that the placenta is fully developed by this stage of the pregnancy and it's sending out all these hormones which cause the glucose to build up in the bloodstream and usually your pancreas is able to pick up its insulin and be able to fight off all that blood sugar and so just to keep your levels but unfortunately for some women that's not the case and for me i'm one of them and that's totally normal in pregnancy it's something that happens to a lot of women there are some people that are more more at risk but it can happen to any woman as well so and the reason why we need to manage the glucose levels or the blood sugar levels is that if they are too high then that could result in having a bigger baby at birth um, which can cause its own complications so that is the main reason but there are also other factors as well managing my blood sugar levels is a big priority right now and just making sure that I'm eating right and that I'm doing enough exercise. My little routine that I've been doing each day is some weight exercises in the morning. I've just got some little weights here and I just do a little routine with those. And then I go for a about a 40 minute walk in the afternoon. And yeah, that's been, that's been fine. The doctors are happy with that. So thankfully after baby is born, everything will go back to normal. The doctors did say I will do another glucose test at around six weeks after birth. It's just to see if I'm having any more difficulties. So I take my blood levels four times a day. I do it when I wake up in the morning before I have breakfast. Then when I start eating, I set a little timer for an hour. And then after the hour is up, then I test my sugar levels with my little diabetes kit. I can have my snacks in between. And then I have another test after lunch and another test after dinner. So this week has been a bit of a trial week. I've been sort of testing out different foods that I can eat. I tried having porridge one morning and I totally blew it. They do say that cereals are a bit of a no-go. But uh, my other meals have been fine. Like lunch has been fine, dinner's been fine. So I need to do a lot more research into this. This is all very fresh and very new. But I tell you what, I've learned a whole lot about diet and about calories and carbs. And I've learned so much this past week, it's ridiculous. So I had my doctor's visit this morning. Overall, my numbers are looking good and I'm being able to watch what I eat and manage that quite well. I've got another appointment in two weeks and she did say that if I'm noticing that the numbers go up quite a bit, then I will need to call and then I'll probably have to go on some medication. So at the moment I'm not on any medication. Yeah, so I've got about 14 minutes before my next test. Uh, my German lesson is starting at 12 today. Since I've stopped going into work, I'm at home a lot more. And so for me, I wanted to get out of the house and do something. So I've been going into a language school and I've been doing intensive German lessons. And I finished doing the A1 level and now I'm on the A2 level. And when I was doing the A1 level, it was like 9 to 12, which was perfect because I'm more focused in the morning and I just feel like that's my most productive time of the day. I'm more of a morning person. Now that I'm doing A2, it's like 12 to 3, which is such a struggle because it's like, right, 
in the middle where you eat lunch. I just find it so hard to focus. Like I have my snacks next to me, but I just find that I'm just not very good at focusing at that point of the day. So I have been struggling a bit with the A2 content and because we're learning so many new words, I need to have time to revise it. And after three hours, I'm knackered. I'm not gonna spend another two hours revising. This week has been a little bit different because our teacher in the gem class got COVID. So we're doing online lessons for this week. So after this month, I'm going to go back to doing just online lessons. My internet is really the pits. So that was one, another reason why I wanted to do more in-person lessons. So we canceled our internet but there's contracts so you need to wait out the period so we've got this internet until January next year so just need to ride that out and then we can join a new provider and today I'm expecting a delivery our stroller our push chair our kinder wagon is coming in the mail which is really exciting I'm looking forward to that coming all right I hope you're all doing really well. It's good to catch up with you, but now I've got to get organized for my lesson. So I'll catch you in a minute. All right, so the buzz has gone off. I need to do my next test. So fingers crossed. I feel fine. I can definitely feel a change when I've gone over. <laughs> um, after I had the oats meal the other day, I was just like so dizzy and lightheaded and sleepy. But if my levels are good, then I'm feeling fine. Here we go. Let's try another finger. Still not 100% used to it. Okay, it's enough blood. Okay, numbers are good, 112. That's really good. So I've just prepared a little snack for during my lesson to keep me going. So I've just got a yogurt and I've mixed in some blueberries with it. So this is a nice treat. I would usually eat lunch before German, but it's just too soon. So, and I'm gonna be sitting here for three hours. We do get one 15 minute break at 1.30. I'm gonna have to be super fast to whip something up for my lunch and eat it in that 15 minutes. Cause I will not be able to survive until three o'clock for lunch. It's not gonna happen. So, bei mir klingeln noch die Kirchenglocken, wie immer. Auf, von, an, gegen, in etwas, unter und mit. Um, we want to um, do it on your own and then we compare. Leave the meeting, try again. Uh, das Gift, das die Bienen mit ihrem Satchel in Menschen mm -hmm. hinterlesen. Tut sie bei V? V, yeah, it's the long E again, like in lebt, es tut V. Uh, genau, es tut sie weh. Und es ist der Stachel. Das ist ein blödes Wort. <laughs> it's a Sch and a, a hard CH. Stachel. Stachel. Stachel, yeah, there it is. <laughs> uh, wenn man sich vor Insektischen suchten, will sollte man Essen auf dem Balkon abdecken. Sehr gute Idee, genau. Essen auf dem Balkon oder auf dem Balkon abdecken. Richtig. I leave enough space for all the syllables in Insektenstichen. I know it's a complicated word. <laughs> so we have Insekten, three syllables, Stichen, two, five all together. And every syllable wants to be read. read. <laughs> Ihre Argumente sind scharf wie ein Messer. Sie sind Messerscharf. <laughs> it always happens on my turn. <laughs> I freeze. Um, did you hear what I said? Yes, Messerscharf. Okay. I heard this, then you were gone. Okay. So, perfect time. <laughs> Uh, genau, Messer, Schaf, right, perfect, vielen Dank, Okay, I finished my first half of the lesson. So I only have 15 minutes, so I'm gonna be quick. So I'm making a wrap and I've got some china, which I really like this one. This is like a, it's a chili one. So a little bit of spice, which I like. And I've just got some cheese, hummus, 
lettuce, and I'm going to put some tomatoes and maybe some avocado as well for some more fats. Presentation isn't there, but I'm starving. I literally have like two minutes to eat this, and then I have to be back in the lesson. Jam pack wrap. And it's if you. Suzanne had a schön weiter ein neues Kleid gekauft. Sehr gut, alles richtig. Schon wieder. So, I, E, it's like E. Also, I, E, it's like E. And E, E, it's like I. Okay, this is I, really complicated if you mix German and English. I understand it. I just forget when I'm reading and I'm not. I'm trying so hard to focus okay. on each word. <laughs> okay, you're doing pretty great. I finished. I finished the lesson and I'm exhausted. I can't wait to stretch my legs. Sitting down for so long has made my feet very swollen. During the lesson though, the push chair did come and here it is in the box and we got the donkey because we wanted something that will potentially grow with our family that we wouldn't need to get another one later on. So happy with that. I'm very excited to put it together. So now I'm going to just get changed into something a little bit more comfortable for a walk and I'm going to go stretch my legs, get some exercise. And I did my test during the lesson and I got 113 which is good. So I have to make sure that I stay under 140. So I did well with that number. It's actually quite windy out here today. It's nice, like warmish weather, but the wind is chilling a little bit. I'm listening to some podcasts about baby stuff. It's just a good time just to chill out and get some fresh air and just walking towards the woods. It is funny how a lucky chain when you learn how to read. Look at my eyes, what do you see? Feels like we're only meant to be. All of my life, where have you been? Cause you're the only thing I need. So I've been home for a little bit and I've just been like resting having some chill time and, and now I'm gonna go pop over to the grocery store and just get a few bits for dinner tonight. I was sort of struggling with thinking of an idea of what I was going to eat tonight but I um, think I'm gonna do some like lemon and herb chicken roasted in the oven and sweet potato that's like my go-to at the moment um, as my carb and maybe some roasted vegetables or salad. I've been loving salads but we've been having them like every night, so maybe vegetables or still maybe salad. I'll see how I feel. So I'm back from the supermarket, just picked up a couple of things. Um, coconut milk, I like to put that with uh, rice when we have it. Some more salad. I needed to get some makeup remover. I uh, just got a pack of chicken, living for avocado at the moment, so I picked up a couple of those. Some more lemons to marinate the chicken. And I got some different bread to try out. And that is all for today. I did a bigger shop yesterday, so I just needed to get a couple extra bits for today. I need to do some tidying up because that just hasn't happened today. And then can start dinner. It's currently 5.45. Just feeling a little bit tired now. Well, it's hitting me. Okay. Gotta get to work.
Look who's home. I ended up cleaning like the whole kitchen and tidying up a bit, put the laundry on. So I've been very productive since the last time I checked in, I was tired. I've got a new burst of energy to clean. <laughs> and now I've got my, my chef here to help prepare the chicken because he does it so good. You know what? That's her way of not wanting to do this, the preparation because it's quite meticulous. Yeah, but you need extra strength, and we all see that I've got no strength in the pancakes or the chicken department, so I'm going to leave you to it. Here's all the excuses coming out. Okay, so chicken is prepped, some sweet potato is ready to go in the oven, looking good. Some courgette here, seasoning, it won't take as long as the others, so I'll add that later. Yum, chicken. Yummy. So Jay's gone to football and I'm here and I'm going to have my dinner. I'm going to watch something really cheesy like dating and yeah, I got my candle lit. So I'm ready to just chill out and put my feet up and enjoy this meal. So I've just added some salad that I had yesterday that I had left over and sweet potato and a couple of pieces of chicken. Good appetit. Guess who's home from football? <laughs> you ain't got to show this big plate of food. <laughs> We're going to watch our favourite show, Love Island. <laughs> Can't wait to see what's happening next. On Love Island. You mean so much to me, don't you?